Paul Allison, and I just wanted to show a very brief example, maybe just a couple paragraphs, of <clears throat> how we turn posts that are examples into posts that are guides for students, <clears throat> um, making them more generic <clears throat> and um, providing prompts for students as well as exact language for transitions and beginning sentences and <clears throat> citations and so forth. I think you'll see what I mean. Um, Kate Stryker from the Educational Video Center created this post as an example for students to use in a research project that they're doing. They're posting three different um, essays about the their topics, their chosen topics, on Youth Voices. And this is the second essay. So she starts with, I found a second article. <clears throat> so I want to, I took what she did and put it in docs, and now I'm going to show you how I edit it. Um, she says second article. I think it may be the third. Now, here, common solar energy will be how call discusses, so her topic is how common solar energy will be in the future. So what we want to do right here is ask students to write, put their topic in here. Add your topic here. Um, it might be a question discussing here. Um, so what we're teaching students is um, how to use this comma, how to use this quotation mark, but then we want to have them put title of the article. And notice I'm capitalizing T for title and A for article. It's easy just to say, just see how that's to say to students. Um, and, and I've made a mistake of, suggest, of just writing cite, right, your article here, but I think we want to say author, author's last name, first name, um, date, uh, let's see. Um, how do you how do you do that? You, I think you could do it like um, okay, um, and pub publication. Let's, let's say newspaper. So that does everything she did here. Then we want to say link. Link A. Now, I know at first this may seem off putting, a little confusing. But I think it's easy to, to sit down with students and point to the different parts. Well, I prove they're working in a school, doesn't it? Copy and paste a link to the, the article here. Okay. And then she says the article is about. See, now that's a fine sentence for kids to copy. The article is about, and say, summarize. The solar power has increased more than was predicted, but there are reasons for that growth, that that growth will slow down. Add, add a couple of sentences that summarize 
the main points of this article and how it answers your inquiry question. A lot of assumption there, but I think it's a good assumption. Yeah. All right. So there we go. <clears throat> Kate writes, a quote I found in the article is, I had to put a call in there. Yeah, whatever. Um, and then here's the quote. C-O-P-Y, a quote from your notes, or from your notes, from, from hypothesis, or from, or directly, copy a quote. See, kids don't know what a quote is. Copy a, see a couple of important sentences from your, okay. notice the quotation marks. There is definitely, there is a definite increase in solar expression. Um, this is a nice construction she has here. Matheson confirms the author confirms. See now, confirms and or questions. What I learned from the Wikipedia article. So I love that she's, this is like a setup. Um, that it refers back to the earlier article that was in the research.
Again, it might feel a little confusing, but it um, it works. You, it um, it gives you a visual reference point for helping students write those first two paragraphs. And if they have this and Kate's examples, I th I think you know it it does get a little overwhelming in terms of how much is there, but it. If they can slow down and really study it, I think that it makes sense to them. So I'm going to go on and finish this. I'll, I'll show you what I end up with in the end. Um, but I think Kate has done a great job right on. And I just want to kind of suck the content out and represent it as, um, as a, a guide for students. Now, I don't know, do, do you think there's a better way to present this stuff? Like, <clears throat> if we put this in colors, maybe that helps? I don't know, but just to say. Um, you could know, put it in a box. Never know whether to capitalize stuff. You know, lots of questions I have about these guides, um, So, but and I'd love for some feedback, some ideas as we do them. But, um, yeah, and also I've been thinking about how to put them up in Thimble. Um, so maybe I'll do this one in Thimble, too. So there we go. Let's see how this works.